What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing a Life Orb Technician Scissor team for ranked regulation app. Now, Scissor, all-time favorite of mine. I believe a lot of people love using it and love this Pokemon in general, so I felt like it would be a cool Pokemon to showcase in another video. I know I showcased in the past, but heck, why not use it again? A lot of fun. I always have fun using this. But this scissor right here is rocking sword stance. Give it a plus two boost on the pack. And we all know once you get a nice big time sword stance off for scissor, this thing is hitting like a truck. Its other three moves consist of knockoff for coverage and to knock off opposing Pokemon's item. Then we got bullet punch for stab and first turn priority alongside with X scissor for big time stab damage. Other Pokemon on today's team going to feature Power Herb Glamora. Now, Power Herb Glamora has been seeing a lot of usage in Rank Regulation F, and for good reason. Popping Meteor Beam with it gives it a special attack boost, and on top of that, it's big time stab damage alongside with that Power Herb. We got Sludge Bomb, we got Earth Power, and Spiky Shield for our fourth and final move. Speaking of Spiky Shield, we also have Wellspring Ogre Pond on this team. That Pokemon has Spiky Shield with Horn Leech, Ivy Cudgel, Follow Me. You guys seen that move set plenty of times before. We have two support Pokemon on today's team. First one is going to be Incineroar. I don't even have to talk about that Pokemon. And second one is going to be Latias. Latias is going to be great because it can set the speed control with Tailwind. And then it also has Recover for HP Recovery with Ice Beam and Mist Ball. Not too bad. Final Pokemon going to be the Long Neck Giraffe Dinosaur Pokemon Raging Bolt. Protosynthesis, Booster Energy, with Thunderclap, Calm Mind for that special defense, and special attack setup, and Thunderbolt for its final move. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Sizzler. We're hopping into our first match, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of George. George is also a member to the Jeans channel. Huge shout out to you, and thank you so much for all the support you do to this channel. But we're going up against an Iron Boulder team in match number one, alongside with Iron Crown and Indeed. A deadly little combo. They have Whimsicott. They also have, what is that book one? Milotic? I love Milotic. And last but not least, Fluttermane. Fluttermane coming out here. So I'm thinking of leading maybe potentially Scizor. They have no fire type Pokemon, and I absolutely love Scissor. Yeah, we're going to lead Scissor here. So I'm going to go Scissor. I could lead Incineroar. I don't know if I like that too much. I'm not sure if I really like that because I want to fake out and try to set up Swords Dance, but I might just go into Wellspring Ogre Pond and then potentially go into maybe like a Follow Me. That's not a bad option for us. That is not a bad option for us. But what are we going to do, say, if they set Terrain? We're going to have a problem on it. We really are. We really are going to have a problem on our hands. But I think we should still get after it with these two Pokemon. So I'm going to go in with both of them. In the back end, I think Glamora could be pretty good just due to all of its moves it has. Learns a great bunch of moves. Sludge Bomb, Meteor Beam, Earth Power. I do like that. Or I could go Raging Bolt. Let's go Raging Bolt. Then I think we're going to go Glamora here. I think we're just going to go more on the full. Actually, let's go into Cinema. No, you have Competitive Mile with it. Good call, Jeans. Good call. They got competitive mile. Attack. Plus, they have a bunch of special attackers. I think they only have one physical attacker. That's going to be the Iron Boulder. That is going to be the Iron Boulder. But fingers crossed they're not leading Indeed the Iron Crown. And every time I say something like that, they lead that. So they're going to lead Indeed the Iron Crown, which I feel like we should be fine up against. But they don't. Cool. Milo Tick and Wimshot comes out here, which I don't mind too much. We have actually pretty good Pokemon out here. I can set Sword Stance with this, uh, with this Scissor right now. I could also pop a Horn Leech if I want to. And I think that is going to be our best bet. Just pop a Horn Leech. They could swap Milotic. They could protect. But Wimscott's not really doing too much damage. Allowing our Scissor to kind of just start setting up here. So we're going for Sword Stance right off the rip in Mass number 1. I love it. I love it. Let me get the Swords going. So he's going to withdraw the Wimscott. We're going to Terrasalize the Milo. There's a possibility. Indeed, he's going to come out here. You might think I'm going for first turn priority. But that's not the case. That is not the case. And what are you doing with Milo? You're not terrestrializing. You're just taking a Horn Leech from Ogre Pond. We love that. You're going to eat up your Citrus Berry. And let's see what Milo wants to do here. What you got cooking for us, Milo? Let me go for an Ice Wind. So you just want to slow us down a little bit. Okay, so no big deal. Scissor's able to soak. Ogre Pond's able to soak. Speed, I'm not too worried about. Um, hmm. I get to clang up the swords. So swords are here. The swords are here, which we love. We love the swords. So from here, I could go for a knockoff. I could go for an X Scissor. X Scissor, probably my best bet. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm just going to go into a Horn Leech into this slot. 
That's fine with me. You could go for follow me and just icy wind again. I'm ready to just attack. I'm ready to just attack. And they're just going to swap Milo Tick into Iron Crown, potentially. Yeah, Iron Crown's going to come out here. So the Iron Crown flies out here. Iron Crown is definitely scary with all this terrain going on. I should have x or that slide, knowing that they're going to swap. But it's all good. It's all good. So follow me comes out here regardless. We're going to say bye-bye to Indeedy. And we'll go from there. Try to figure this one out. Because, yeah, Indeedy's definitely gone. And follow me is not going to do much, especially with expanding force. It's just going to be a problem. So there's X Scissor. We dump on DD. Bye bye. Scissor's hitting hard. He's hitting hard. So they got Wimscott in the back end. They got Milo Tick. Um, they'll probably throw back out Wimscott. I don't even know. Just have like support moves ready to go. And I'm going to have to try to figure this out. I'm going to have to try to figure this out because this Iron Crown is a huge problem for us. Sitting here in the terrain, booster energy. Wimscott's alongside with it, so it could have potentially fake tears, but I mean, the terrain's out and about. The terrain is here. Um, I have no dark typing. Dark type would be awesome here. And I only got these two in the back end. I have no protect except for on the U. And I can't bullet punch either, which is just ugly. It's so ugly, because I would love to just bullet punch down a Pokemon. Um, let's see how many turns I'll have in terrain. Three, three. Ooh. It's getting ugly. This is getting ugly. Um... I want to do more damage, knockoff or X Scissor. Knockoff does a bit more damage due to its super effectiveness onto Iron Crown. I'm gonna go for a knockoff here. I'm just gonna spiky shield, and we'll go from there. Even though I believe Scissor is a goner here, so Scissor got off some value. Hopefully they make a mistake and I don't even know do something stupid and not use Expanding Force. They're gonna go for Moon Blast and probably Expanding Force. Correct? Probably right. Yeah, there it is. So, Scissor definitely going to this. Bye-bye, Skizzy. Thanks for playing. It was an honor having you out here doing some big-time damage. Yeah, even though it's not very effective. I knew it was taking this out. You got a crit, too. You got a crit, too. So, now now it's making me wonder. Now it's making me wonder, but I, I believe it's still KOing us anyway. Iron Crown's just hitting way too hard. So, from here, I could go into you. I could go into you. Um, I could protect this turn. Follow me. could come out here. I mean... I don't know what her play is. I don't know what her play is. Come out here, Spiky Shield. We'd come out here and Spiky Shield. This is just, oh man. It's brutal. It's brutal. I'm not too worried about the Milo. I got you in the back end. But this will actually give us a Protosynthesis boost. Is this into speed? No, it's going to be into special attack. I'd rather save him. We're going to go into Lamar. This is tough because they got this Iron Crown set up. So Sigil was thriving out here, but now that they got the Iron Crown set up, kind of sitting in a tough position. I could Terrasalize into straight grass, which is not bad for me, or I could just go into a sludge bomb. I mean, grass might have to be our play here. I am going to go in the grass. I'm just going to go for sludge bomb. I'm gonna tear it in the grass here. Um, and if I can get off this, this would be nice. This would be nice. Because my whole thing is here, if I can survive this turn, I can just protect Spiky Shield next turn, waste out the last turn of the terrain, have a shot at winning this match. But if they pick up a double kill, which would be my problem, maybe I should terrestrialize the, uh, the Ogre Pond just for that special defense boost. It could be nice, but they're gonna end up going for a Tailwind here. So they want a bit more speed on the field. They're going to go for Expanding Force. Can, can any of you guys soak this? Both of you guys? None of you guys. See, that's where it gets ugly. See, I need it. I needed somebody surviving. And just none of them do. Now we're sitting here with Raging Bolt. Can the Raging Bolt clutch up? Probably not. Probably not. It's not looking good for him. So this Iron Crown is going to sweep us, man. It's just going to take our whole squad. Again, I can protect and take away this this terrain, but at this point now you got Moonblast ready to roll. You got a lot going on here, but I am still going to protect. I am going to give it a shot, even though it's not looking good, right? Not looking good. So match number one, most likely going to our opponent here, unless we do some crazy comeback. That'd be absurd. But Moonblast is going to be able to chip up damage. They're going to go into Terra here, and that's going to be Terra Ground. Just a perfect Terra type here as well. Just a perfect terror type. We didn't really have a perfect terror type in this matchup. 
to get rid of that. And I kind of seen it coming too at the beginning. I was just like, dude, we have no way of terrain control. This guy could just go in the Iron Crown and give us a problem. Just give us a problem. The terrible is going to get cooking here. They're going for ground moves. Yeah, now this one is wrapped. So I'm just going to run this matchup. We have no shot at winning this. They got ground terror blast, iron crown with booster energy boosted. They got moon blast flying through here. It's just not happening. So match number one goes to our opponent. We do get to set up the swords dance. Just not grab the win. Hopping into our second match for today's video. And I owe you guys a win. That iron crown just got the best of us. We did get to set up scissor in match number one. But again, iron crown in the terrain with the booster energy, having tailwind speed. It was just over from there. It was game, set, match. But we're going up against a King Loose squad with Gouging Fire, Gyarados, King Gambit, Defiant King Gambit. I should mention that considering we have Incineroar. Last but not least, Fluttermane. So I really want to go into Scissor here. I think trying to set up Scissor is going to be a good play for us. They could potentially lead Gouging Fire, which would be a little threat. But you know what? I'm going to go for Latias. Nice little Tailwind Setter. Trying to get some speed control for the squad. And if we have to terrestrialize Scissor, we can go into straight fire type, which isn't too bad for us. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. I am going to bring Glamora in the back end. And last but not least, it's either Ogre Pun or Raging Bolt. And looking at this, we might want to just go Ogre Pun. Yeah, I kind of like Ogre Pun. Horn Leech, you got some good moves. You also have the Grass Typing, which could dodge Spores. We do like dodging Spores. This Spore is so annoying. But we are 1 or not 1 now. We are 0-1 right now. I thought we were going to end up sweeping with Scissor, but the way they played that terrain was so perfectly. Swapping in, getting the terrain, we couldn't bullet punch or anything. And then at that point, again, Iron Crown just come in and it was just like game over. You, you, we seen it coming. We seen it coming. Because I even said in the lead, I was just like, dude, if they lead Iron Crown and DD, we're going to have a huge problem on our hands. And then eventually they finally got him out there. But King Gambit's going to end up coming out here for a lead, which I do not mind. Um, Actually, ooh. And Ting Lu comes out here. So Ting Lu's going to Vessel. Here, I do have X scissors start ripping into that. I think I'm just gonna go for a sword stance here and I'm gonna terrestrialize you. Do I terrestrialize you? Yeah, we're gonna terrestrialize you in the poison. I'm just gonna set up this tail. A little tail. The reason I want to terrestrialize the Lottie Oz is because nice little dark type move coming out from King Gambit. Not looking too hot on the Lottie Oz part, right? So I'd rather just try to terrestrialize that. Get some speed going with scissor. Allow him to uh, just outspeed after a sword stance. So there's a nice little terror type. First turn terror. Type. We love a good first turn terror type. Into the Latias. Get that psychic type off me, right? Get it out of here. We don't need it. We're gonna go straight poison. I just love a poison type. The mirror, I could see a cow tap cleave, could see Zark Punch. We're gonna end up seeing a protect. Are you EQing? There's no way you're EQing. There's just no shot you're EQing. What's the protect for? I'm getting scared. I'm getting real scared. If this is an EQ. I'm gonna be real upset. There's no way it's an EQ. It's a payback. Cool. I'm fine with that. Big time terror for us. We're able to set up the tailwind. Then we're gonna take some rocky helmet damage. And I got sword stance up now. Sword stance shown here. I could X scissor you. I could X scissor you. Um, I think King Gambit's more of a threat. So I'm gonna actually attack King Gambit and just recover some HP here. I'm gonna do that. Beautiful. We got some speed control. And next is are going to fly. How much damage are we doing to you? Almost KO. We are almost KO. That could have been a big time KO. Kaltak Cleave going to fly here. He's going to do some damage. And we're going to go for a payback. Which, can you soak that? Oh, I was really hoping you would soak. I was really hoping you would soak. I was really hoping you would soak. But at that point, you could just sucker punch me. But I don't mind going into you right here. I don't mind going into you. Or I could just go into you. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm gonna swap into Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond's gonna come out here. Um, the real question is, can Ice Beam KO this King Gambit? That's really what I'm hoping. Really what I'm hoping. I know it's not very effective, but I'm really hoping this would KO. And we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. So he ends up withdrawing Ting Lu. Who are you gonna go into? Here? Who you got cooking? We're going to Gyarados. Not bad. Not bad, little play. So Gyarados flies out here. King Gambit's still on the field. You're gonna intimidate me. Ice Beam, can you KO? You're gonna protect the King Gambit. So Gambo's gonna get protected. Um, hmm. I'd be Cudgel gonna land in you. Maybe we get a crit. Not bad damage. Was that a crit? It was a crit. Cool. <laughs> so we'll take that damage. I was gonna say, that did a little bit more damage than I expected it to. So from here, I'm actually just going to 
uh, take out the, uh, I'm gonna make sure this thing dies out right here. I'm gonna go Ivy Cudgel into the King Gambit. And from here, I'm just gonna miss ball and deal as much damage as I can to this Gyarados. Hit this Gyarados. So Sucker Punch flies here. We're able to soak. You're gonna die out to Rocky Helmet, which is actually big, because now we get to double down into this thing. Now we get to double down into Gyarados. So Ivy Cudgel are gonna fly. Wish I was going for Horn Leech at that point. I probably should have. And Miss Ball's gonna follow through. So how much damage Miss Ball does? Almost KO. So Miss Ball, we like the damage output there. Thunder Wave gonna fly through here. I think we should swap the Ogre Pond at this point. Or I can stay on the field and just keep getting after it, right? I could just go for a follow me play here. This Gouging Fire is gonna come across. Um, hmm. So you got Gouging Fire, you have Gyarados here. Gyarados is real low HP. You're gonna Protosynthesis boost your speed. And I think a Follow Me Tailwind is probably our best bet. We still have Glamora. I still have Glamora, so yeah, follow me. Let's get this Tailwind back out on the field. Especially because this thing is booster energy. We really don't want to deal with that. So we'll go for the Follow Me. And if I get some speed, I can get rid of the Gyarados, and I can have Glamora on the field to try to help clean up this match. Helping Hand comes out here. Helping Hand. What are you going for? You might be going for a heat crash here or something. You might be going for a heat crash or something. What you got cooking? What you got cooking here, God's Fire? Heat crash. You are. And we survived that. Ouch. <laughs> we just survived that. So Tailwind's here, which is big time news for us. Um, I think we just sacrifice our, our boy here. And we just go for an Ice Beam in the Gardens to finish him off. I think that's our best bet. Hopefully we're not paralyzed this turn. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Because I would love to just pop a follow me. Have Ogre Pond die out here. Finish off the Gyarados at the same time. We're going to go Helping Hand again. We got to be going for the Latias here. No point of Helping Handing. Going after him. Yeah. Okay, cool. So follow me is going to end up landing. We are sacrificing our Ogre Pond. It was minus one paralyzed. And Ice Beam going to finish you off. Well, unless you're going for Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe is definitely possible. Ooh, are you going for Breaking Swipe? You are. Okay, Latias soaks. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Drop an attack. We're special attacking. You're going to take some Rocky Helmet damage. On top of that, I'm going to be able to outspeed it, and I can straight up recover. I can recover. Now I can go into you with Meteor Beam ready to launch. Meteor Beam ready to launch. That's huge. If I can land a Meteor Beam here, we are sitting in a great spot. They're going to go back into Ting Lu. A little bit of problem due to its ability, but I still like Meteor Beam here. Vessel of Ruin dropping special attack. Alright, so let's get after this. So do they still have Terra? They still do. That's looking a little scary. I'm still going to drop a Meteor Beam here. And I'm still going to recover. I think getting back some of this HP could be good. Gouging Fire might outspeed due to that booster energy. But we'll see. We will see. I would love to grab a win here. Brought the Glamora for a reason. For a reason. Let's do it, Glamora. Let's do it. So our Terra actually came in clutch with Latias. I was just super upset that they doubled down the Scissor that turn. Actually finish it off. That one really hurt Soul. So I would love to have Scissor for one more turn. One more turn of Scissor would have been awesome. But we're going to see a Terra type pop out from probably Gouging Fire. No, Ting Lu. We love that. We love that. Ting Lu's going straight poison. Ting Lu's going straight poison. We love that. We love that. Because I love having this Meteor Beam going into this slot here. Burning... Mm -hmm. Burning Bulwark comes out here. Burning Bulwark comes out here. And Recover is going to pop from you, which is huge. And I'm going to get a special attack boost. But the thing is here... I don't like not hitting this thing with Meteor Beam, right? Like hitting this thing with Meteor Beam is awesome. It would have been great. It would have been great. Now ground move could potentially come out here from Team Lu. Dealing some big time damage. We like that. And he's just going to go for a payback into Latias, which we soak. Thank you to recover. Rocky Helmet going to chip up a little bit here. Um, I think we're forced to go for an Earth Power. Who do we go after here? Who do we go after? Who do we go after? I could try to take out the Team Lu. Very burning bulwark, so. 
You know what? We're gonna double down into Ting Lu. We'll double down in Ting Lu. Especially because the ground moves just scaring me, man. I'm surprised it hasn't gone for a ground move. Maybe it doesn't have one. Maybe it just doesn't have one. So Miss Ball gonna fly here. Deal some nice damage on you. We're doubling down with Earth Power. It's good to know that we outspeed. We take out the Ting Lu. So now it's a 2v1. Unless he going after him, so I don't think he can take out Gamora. I don't think he can take out Gamora. He can go for a break and swipe, which will KO you. How many turns are left in Tailwind? This is real question. If we're out of Tailwind turns, oh no. This could be rough. But Toxic to Breeze on the field. Such a good match. Rocky Helmet gonna bring in some HP. Lamora, I need you. One Earth Power is all it takes. I think one Earth Power wins this game. I think one Earth Power wins this game. And I probably should have doubled down in the Gadget Fire thinking about it now. But one Earth Power wins this game. I could go for Spiky Shield here. Just to read out what he wants to do. Or I could just start straight up attacking. Let's just straight up attack. No point of us to go for Spiky Shield. Breaking Spike's gonna fly here. We're able to soak. Attack drop. We can actually eat up another one of those. I don't think Heat Crash does that, that much damage to us. Considering we're Poison and Rock. But Earth Power for the win? Let's go. Glamour clutching up. Big time special attack boost from Meteor Beam. KO in the Ting Lu, KO in the Gadget Fire, and we are 1 and 1. Final match on its way. We'd love to use Scissor a little bit more here and grab ourselves a winning record. We're sitting 1 and 1, and we're going up against a T Tar team with Iron Valiant, who I haven't seen in a while. That's a Pokemon that I actually really, really like. They also have Fire Ogre Pond, they got Urshifu, Thunderous, and then the Dreadful. We all don't like this Pokemon. Actually, I love this Pokemon. I hate going up against it. Archiludon. Archiludon. So a lot of physical attackers looking at me. So I might just go into Incineroar. I think Incineroar and Scissor is actually really good here. If I get out the Fake Out Sword Stance combo, that can work wonders. It can definitely work wonders. So I'm going to go into both of them. In the back end, I do like Ogre Pond. Actually, I really like Lamora here too. Lamora is going to be good. Meteor Beam super effective on a few of them. Earth Power is super effective on a few of them. On top of that, it's super effective onto Arch Ludon. And taking out Arch Ludon, you're going to need a special attacker pretty much with a super effective shot. So I'm going to go Glamora and then probably Ogre Pond. Yeah, I like Ogre Pond. Just its typing, its moves. Really, really good up against a few of these guys. Especially if that Urshifu is Water Horn Leech. Bang, HP recovery. We want it. We want it all day. But one and one, want this winning record. I want it. I want it bad. I want it bad, baby. Alright, so for the lead, I could see Titar. And no, it's going to be Arch and Thunders. So from here, I'm definitely setting up Sword Stance. Like, no doubt in my mind, we're setting up Sword Stance. Um, we do get the attack drop onto him. He's special attacking. You are also special attacking. Um, what is my player? I got to fake out somebody. But who do I fake out here? Because I could fake out Arch Ludon. But that allows Thunders to maybe get off like a Rain Dance or something. But I feel like if we fake out Thunderous here, it's going to get off Rain Dance regardless, right? It's going to get off Rain Dance regardless. So I'm going to go for fake out into Arch Ludon. And I'm just going to pop a nice little Sword Stance. Get this attack boost. Get this attack boost rolling. So we fake out you. He's going to get Salmon boosted. I know that already. It's fine. Mobile Storm the Anacom for. And Scissor Dodges. We like a nice big old Scissor Dodge. The Scissor with the Dodge, he's going to start getting Stamina boosted. So I think our whole play here is to potentially just start wiping out this left side with Scissor and saving that for Glamora, right? I could just go Parting Shot into this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Parting Shot, and I mean, my moves are not that good up against all these guys. <laughs> Let's be honest here. I could Terra Fire if I want to. But I think I just start going after Stunner Slot. Let's see what he ends up doing. You rain dancing. I know you have rain dancing. You just spamming wild bull storms, which does ridiculous amount of damage. I'm gonna be able to eat up a citrus berry and scissor might die out here. I think you're going for body pressing to incineroar. So I kind of want to swap him out here with this party shot. And no, you're just out speeding me. I survived, but you're out speeding me, Arch Ludon. Little booger. Little booger. And knock off dumps on him. Oh my lord, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wasn't expecting that, but it's weird. You're out speeding my scissor, too. That's a fast arch Luna, or is our, our Pokemon just super slow? I kind of want to see this. I kind of have to see this, right? 
Let me see your speeds, guys. Like, why are we so slow? 138, 178. No, you guys are fast. You're, you two are just on the slower side. Okay. No, okay, that makes sense. Alright, so from here, we could go into Glimora and Terra Grass and just start, like, this power meteor beam and doing whatnot. Or I could go into a follow me user, such as you, and save the Glimora or save this, the uh, Scissor. That's gonna be my plan. I'm going into Overpod. I can use follow me here. Look to get after after that left slot with Scissor and deal with Archludon as time goes on. Archludon plus one on defense, minus one on special attack. That's good. And they're gonna go in the Iron Valley here. Who I can just bullet punch. Do I still want to go for follow me here? Maybe not. Actually, let's do it just in case. We I feel like we again we just protect the Scissor. We just let Scissor cook. Let's just let Scissor cook onto this left side. That's the plan. Let Scissor do its work. Keep going after that left side. And going from there. And going from there. Because, again, if we're going to win this match, Archelion's going to get taken out by our Lamora. That's that's the only way. Let's be honest here. Or, or if Ogre Pond somehow gets a crit. But no. Again. That thing's defensively boosted. It's a bulky Pokemon. We don't feel like dealing with it. So I'm just going to hit this bullet punch here. He is going to end up Thrasalizing. That's probably going to be the Iron Valiant. Is that going to be a Fire-type Iron Valiant? Could be a little bit of a threat here. It's going to be Electric. So this thing's going to get a little Electric Bulbs coming out here. Um, Bullet Punch can still do some nice damage. Let's be honest here. Bullet Punch still doing some nice damage here. Follow me. Going to pop out here from the Ogre Pond. Because we want to protect our Scissor as much as we can. Bullet Punch flying. Technician stab, not very effective though, but still half damage. We like that. We like that a lot. Thunderbolt's gonna come out here. A little scary. It's gonna be neutral onto Ogre Pond. And that's going to do ooh, big time damage. And body press gonna finish this off. Yes, body press finishes this off. So mm, I mm, I don't know what to do here. What's our play here? Our play is to definitely mm, bring out Glamour and Saber and Sinor. Save our fake out on Sinor. Yeah, we're gonna. F bum, bum, bum. We're gonna bullet punch the Iron Valiant. We are going to Meteor Beam. We're gonna Terrasalize Meteor Beam this Pokemon. And the reason I say that is because I want this special attack boost right now. Because what I think actually happens here is we bullet punch Iron Valiant. We KO Iron Valiant. If it doesn't protect Archelodon, then body presses Scizor. And then in that case, Gilmore should be full HP. We're Terrasalizing just in case. That is the option, but I'd rather Meteor Beam and get our special attack boost right now. So Glamora can maybe clutch up it a little bit. So we're going to go for Terra, put the, our little grass on. Put little flowers on her head. And Bull Punch, like I said, going to finish off the Valiant. Get it on out my face. And I believe the body press to be going after Scissor. I believe it to be going after Scissor. We are going to Meteor Beam here. Which is beautiful. But I know one Earth Power isn't just going to take it out. Maybe we should have Earth Power. But again, I just I just believe this Arch Ludon is going after Scissor. It might be going after Gamora. Let's be honest. That's why I thrashed that. But still, it, it might be going after Scissor. Meteor Beam still doing ridiculous damage. Ridiculous. Go after Scissor. You're going for Flash Cannon. We soaked that. You're minus one. You're minus one. Now that's even better. That's even better. Because now Earth Power finishes off you. Um, I could spiky shit if I want to. Ogre Pond's gonna come out here. And I believe. Oh, who's faster? That's the real question. Who's faster? Who's faster? What's your speed? You're, you're pretty fast here. Mm, you're not faster than Ogre Pond. You're not. You're just not. Definitely gonna go for the spiky shield here. Um. If I can get off an X Scissor, I'd rather just have Fake Out ready to go. Match coming a bit too close, so I'm gonna spike a shield here. Scissor goes down, Scissor goes down. He's gonna go for the Ivy Cudgel. And she's gonna body press the Scissor. So Scissor's gonna die here. You have her Fake Out user ready to roll, which is good. So our best bet here. Ah, oh, man. 
Our best bet is we. I think the only way we potentially win this match is we have to either make a read. We either have to make a read. Hmm. What do I do here? Because I want to Earth Power. My my play I want to do is fake out the Ogre Pond, and then just KO Archaludon with Earth Power. That's the play I want to make. But if Ogre Pond decides to Spike Shield, we die out to fake out. And then it turns to a 1v1 and we lose this. I'm gonna say true. I'm gonna say true to, true, true to what I wanted to do. Cool. There's fake out right there. Beautiful. We're gonna flinch the Ogre Pond. Earth Power is gonna outspeed. It's a 2v1 now. It's a 2v1, and my thought process here now is we should Spiky Shield because I think he's going to go for Ivy Cudgel into my Glamora. And instead of going for Flare Blitz, we go for Knock Off just to chip up a little bit of damage. Because if I go for Flare Blitz and don't KO, he then outspeeds Glamora, killing me with Ivy Cudgel. So I need two Pokemon on the field. So I'm going to go for Knock Off. I'm going to go for Spiky Shield here. Fingers crossed for the read. Do we read this Ivy Cudgel going into his Glamora slot? Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. This game, I'm just so good at. I'm just so good at. I'm nasty. I'm nasty. And it actually might not work out in our favor. Let's be honest here. I don't think it's going to work out in our favor. I mean, that was a good play, but I don't think it's going to work out in our favor. So we need either Flare Blitz to KO or Sludge Bomb will KO. We, we need Flare Blitz to KO. Let's be honest here. If Flare Blitz doesn't KO, we lose. And Flare Blitz KO. Can Flare Blitz come and clutch? Knockoff didn't really do that much damage. I wanted to do a bit more than that. So we might... Come on, Flare Blitz. Give me a crit, yo. Give me something. Give me something here. Let's go, Incineroar. Oh, my lord, yo. We lose to that. We lose to that. Really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. GG's to our opponent. Great set of matches for today's video. So guys, great set of matches for today's video. We ended up going one and two for today's video. First match, we definitely lost. Iron Crown just got the best of us. Second match, we clutched up with Lemur. And third and final match came down to the wire. We made some great plays. It sucks that we ended up losing that match due to a little bit of HP, right? That Ogre Pond down to the red. We ended up protecting perfectly, faking out perfectly, making some good plays, all that good stuff. But again, just a few HP away from that winning record in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, Forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend some positive day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody